Hey everybody, welcome back to the White Wing Nail Shop. Today's video is brought to you by Autel. Yes, sponsored video today. Here are the contents. Here's the back of the box so you can read that for yourself. Pause if you like. The rest of us are moving on. Alright guys, we're on my wife's 2005 Dodge Magnum. It's a 5.7 liter. There are no engine codes or anything to show you. The key is not on, but this is connected to the data link connector, which is the power source for this as well. So go to set up first. You can set your different languages. I've had some questions in the past about which languages are available. So here you go. There's, there's that. Uh, escape key down here anytime you want to back up. And we'll get out of that. Go to scan. We are US and it is a Chrysler. Anytime there's a highlighted field, just push OK. Again, anytime there's a highlighted field, I'm just pushing OK off camera there. Read codes or erase codes, and no faults. So, not a whole lot to look at, is there? Now, this tool advertises um, that it can reset your airbag. So, you, you find that under body control module, the other thing this tool does is resets the ABS so your anti-lock brakes. Uh, just more or less showing you how the tool navigates. It does all pretty intuitive, very easy to, to navigate. If you had a trouble code, I can't, it uh, doesn't look like I can get into it anywhere there. So another thing I can't show you, I need a broken car. <laughs> Alright, the scanner will also uh, allow you to view live data. A lot to look at, so uh, let's try custom list. I'll select, okay. That's it. On some of the functions you do get a graph, so we can bring it to a graph form as well. If you want to save that, you can push save over here using this button, and you can save that data. All right, I'm going to skip out of here, I will show you a freeze frame data next. Freeze frame. Now this is helpful and will populate when you have a uh, code that sets the the uh, engine, check engine light. Since we don't have that, we don't have any freeze frame data. Once you register the tool, download the app, which is called Maxi PC, and save that to your computer, and then you can print anything from this using that app. You can print anything you like from the scanner. That's it. Not a whole lot I can show you other than the ease of this tool. It, uh, like I said, it's just an easy tool to get to use. It's just a scanner to read and erase codes. However, don't be erasing codes unless you find them fix the problem. Because once you erase those codes, you lose your live data and the freeze frame data. All right, we're back in the shop. Where it's a little warmer. It's been a couple of days. I got a new shirt on, and. Uh, I always struggle with this type of video because it's about 30 to 40 minutes worth of video that I try to break down um, to two or three minutes, well, let's call it four or five minutes in this case because I know a lot of you don't have an interest in this tool, but for those of you who do have an interest, uh, I just was able to show you the highlights. Uh, this is not a bi-directional tool, that's reserved for more costly scanners. This scanner uh, is much like other scanner that are out there and scanners that I have reviewed. This one comes to you with the addition of the uh, being able to reset the airbags and being able to reset the anti-lock brake system, the ABS. So there's going to be a link below in the description box where you can get this tool. Check out the price. Check out what that website has for you. It's on Amazon. And see if this tool might be something you're interested in. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate you all hanging out for this little video. Tried to make it as quick as I could. Hit the highlights of the tool. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.